ドウィング<笑>グリザリーの果実ボンジョーワッチェル、This is Johnny Bang of 45 and welcome back to the Fruit of Grisaya In the last episode we have seen Yeah, we are still about Makina having a job now. So they talk about is it okay, Makina having a job? Seat of the World Tree Fall. Nanka, eh? Sukke, Takaso, and Kimono Kitene. Sunday, Kisel de Tabaco Sutta. Areva, Arena, Lyote no Kamiza Nakote, do Mitemos and Osino, Anesa Nana Yosa. Hitono Bacha, or Nanda to Motte Yagaru. Oh, Nanka, Hena Hito. The woman is strange enough to be called weird by Makina. We must be talking about pretty damn panic, but clearly the individual here. Hey, じゃないってば。でも初対面でいきなり大ボケかましてたのよさ。Is that all right? いやだからさ、私がおばあちゃんちの扉開けてこんにちはって声かけたら奥からおばあちゃんが出てきたんだけどさ。玄関口で甘ねじゃなくて私に向かって。遠いとこよう来はったなーって言ったのよ。そんでまあマキナの顔をガッと掴んだかと思ったら、いやしばらくミーヒン買ったらえらい縮んでしまって、今年の夏はえらい暑いよってなって、軒下に釣られたタクワンじゃあるまいし縮まないっての。Mr. Woman's t h e n a sounds like quite the entertaining grandmother。マキナ。あんた今年も一緒に行くまた今年も浴衣着てお祭り行こっか。No, I want to stay with Papa. あ、oh, あいいな去年作ってもらった浴衣まだ着れっかな。Hey, what happened to the part-time job? 大丈夫じゃないあんた全然背伸びてないし。浴衣、come to think of it, I guess that would be pretty good look for a stubby little better like Makina. それは褒められているのか On the other hand, Amane, would a Yugata really work out so well with this distinctly un Japanese speaker? Nande, what does your Jiro Jiro m i r u Well, Amane, my friend, a word of advice for me to you. When wearing a Yugata, try not to saunter around the streets with a bottle or lotion in one hand. Haruk Kuboke, Tska, Anta, the what does your Minaga, a Nani or Sozo Stanuka, Dai Tai Wakata, I know. Tsuka, so, what does your Yuji Mokuru? No, I will pass. Enjoy, not a Irana, you. Here, not a eat by Yerushi. The only other car, Shokujimo, she by Nashi. Nanimo, you take a nine or a way there. Thing is, I'm on a call on my part time job. I don't know when they will want me, and I need a fairly good reason to leave the prefecture. There's a paperwork to fill out and everything. So, Zanen, don't eh? I will enjoy myself in my own way. Don't worry about it. Go, men, eh? Nothing to apologize for. Thanks for inviting me. In the first place, why did it take a lot to meet that grandmother of hers? I'm not quite sure how I could respond of having my cheeks firmly pinched. Let alone the Lord Almighty. It hasn't been that long since I saw you, but you sure have turned into a man. Yes, it was a long rainy season this year. Guys, she might be well hit me well. And even if the, if the company were to give me permission to leave the prefecture, there's a good chance I'll still be summoned when necessary. Worst case scenario, they might end up landing a helicopter on the old lady's lawn. Fundamentally speaking, to enjoy vacation like anyone else is a privilege not extended to those of us who live in a chain lock firmly around our neck. <coughs> Even so, my summer begins only enough. Sometimes I am amazed at the human capacity to adapt. Generally speaking, the speed with which someone picks up the neck of something is proportional to their own performance. But it's surprisingly difficult to guess the fastest learner ahead of time. Exceptionally talented individuals can only apply their existing skills to a new task. <laughs> But it's not uncommon for someone who seems inferior in other respects to abruptly discover an astonished talent in one specific field. c a s t i n point, ever since I was a kid, I have firm reputations for being below average at every day I try. But then I met my master, stumbled across a certain talent, and in time came to see the world through a new lens. You could say that discovery that talent made it possible for me to finally find my niche, such as it is. Okay, we are getting pretty abstract here, so I'm going to explain things in a little more simply. 
There are two types of people in the world. Those are capable of riding a bicycle. Those who are. <laughs> and when I find that the market in the former category, that's it. Market has tips around the car. Yes, the mini vehicles such as led us bodily recently one handle bar to wave in my direction. Not exactly ready for the tour, but she maintaining a respectable degree of control. The girl got a bicycle for the first time yesterday, <coughs> and in terms of skills, it's sad to say that she's already spared to one not significantly insignificant group of fellow pedal pusher. Namely, those little old ladies who fall out wherever and obstacle across their path. The so called grand cyclist quite a respectable standard to pass after one day. I pretty well convinced that at this point, the guy has a talent. <coughs> But as it was my richest training in the finest tradition of a culture that produced 300 warriors who faced out a million Persians that allowed it to blossom, I'm not definitely satisfied to see the wisdom of my educational methods reaffirmed. As Makina pumps away at the pedals and trail with a burst of speed she can produce her own power, her face seems to be as frozen in many a joyful green. I know exactly how she feels. Discovering a new talent is like seeing a nuclear path opening up before you on the back. For Giro into the future, it's a downright scary feeling. Will I be able to prepare the sort of road this daughter of mine deserves? As my thoughts lurch into a sentimental territory, all of a sudden the sight of Makina Wavy I've made for bicycle seats oddly moving. <laughs> I have never had a child of my own, so I can only spe speculate. But maybe. They are the sort of feelings that carry the fathers of the world through the daily grind. Before I know it, I started worrying myself about what I can possibly do for this girl. Seriously, considering <coughs> multiple possibilities for her future, it's bizarre I can't even figure myself out anymore. <laughs> the final life complete, I cannot come to rest her feet in front of me, puffing up a mega chest, a display of pure pride that will put us Dark girl peacock to shame. You are cocky little puff, I must admit you got it the general idea. Kino, Bango Han no Mani, Amane ni Ushite Murata no Yosa. I see. I was aware of that of course. I'm gonna report her after what I just showed her the basis, but she got the hang of it pretty easily. During this initial session, Mike have apparently fell off her bike once or twice. But for now for the beginning, of course, what surprised Amani was the way she fell. The market now felt she was beginning to lose her better. She instantly determined the safest possible way to hit the ground. Sometimes she delivered a slice of the bicycle to avoid the worst case scenario. Alright then, how about you follow me on the bike when I go running today? More or less, where we are, I'll teach you the rules of riding a bike on a public road. I glance at the watch on my left wrist, about half past six. If I ride at my normal pace and skip by me the stars and the shine to shine, it should come out to a night 50 minute course. Once you get a hang on riding a bike, wanting to pedal out into the wall is only human. And when you are passing through a familiar town in a whole new, whole new way, it's hard not to feel the slight sense of adventure swelling in your chest. The question is just how far can I go? Plus, naturally, through your mind. So even taking all the, that into consideration, I can't let this turn into a casual joy like this. Just too much I need to teach my kid. First of all, fundamental of the fundamentals: how to focus your attention when operating a vehicle. There are far too many people who only look directly in front of them. At the very least, I want my kid looking far enough down the road, not seeing throwing sets up 50 meters or so in my mind. And while checking her side should go without saying, I don't want to get ignoring what's behind her ear. Unlike motorcycles or cars, bikes don't have the blinkers or brake lights. Keeping everyone around you informed of your intention and requires deliberate care of your part. By checking both sides and outside, you can avoid problems when you are changed a lane or make a turn. And being aware of what's behind you dramatically reduces the risk of being rear ended while braking. I jogging along and explaining these matters to Makinas when we were passed on the pink collar worker. <laughs> Casually fiddling with her cell phone as she stares her cars in one canvas hand. Take a look at that, Makina. Bicycle accidents are on the rise these days, and the majority are directly caused by the happy-go-lucky types like her. Oh, 
The woman can see just fine, she's just choosing not to look. It's not like she's driving a damn tank as a general road that won't, won't wait because I'm made to provide the operator with adequate visibility. Not, in, not even trying to look around you is negligent. And ignoring what's right before your eyes is downright criminal. Averting your gaze from things you'd rather not see, covering your ears against unpleasant words, exactly the sort of casual arrogance that once led Japan into an unwinnable war. You think we have learned our Jap lessons by now? In any case, never operate a vehicle while playing with your cell phone and keep your headphone off too. Always pay attention to your surroundings and be aware of how well others can see you. That alone should be enough to avoid a good percentage of preventable accidents you might suffer otherwise. As a general rule, the most important part of keeping yourself safe is maintaining a healthy fear of things that can kill you. In other words, don't get so used to the peaceful existence you are currently enjoy that you start taking it for granted. Nothing went wrong yesterday and today's been smooth sandy as well, so tomorrow will no doubt be, no, be just the same. Such carrots that stick is sneaking up on you, and when a real crisis arises, it can render your utterly helplessness. But prepping is rather a theoretical point won't do much good. The words will probably go into one ear and out in another, until Makina has a wake up call on her own. Instead, I emphasize the importance of concrete, simple pro procedures for staying alert and aware of the road around her. Listen, Makina, no matter how much of a hurry you might be in, don't even think about negligent your safety check. In fact, the faster you rush it, the more alert you need to be. Being carelessness and taking chances is going to gain you a significant amount of time. <laughs> At most days, cost you 5 minutes of trade also. It's a small price to pay for priority the worst case scenario. You got a long life ahead of you. It's not worry risking the decades you have got left for the sake of 10 minutes here or there. You understand? <laughs> Exactly, you're not going to win the respect of grown up by being reckless. If anything, the departure of defense has better things to do any and then write it as a counsel to our parents Megan. It's a typical reaction. Seems like you are starting to get the ideas. Alright, let me drill this into that thick country pumping scale of your one last time. Yes, my rule, don't die before your parents. Aman and I will teach you the skills you need to keep yourself in one piece, so don't waste our efforts through sheer stupidity. Understood? Sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Good, perfect, this answer for a shit in the recruit. We suspect our training here for a day. Click your ears to get a much answer. Much to hand to hand. Originally, this salute was something like your start as a part of some makeup, at least soldier gave it. The gesture was so painful, it sloppy that I couldn't move to stop myself from getting her down to a poor form. Apparently, she took my remonstration to heart. The angle of her right eye is shut as she tightly clenched her free hand at her side. Not entirely orthodox, but she's got spirit. Where that? The girl's probably hungry. What about time for breakfast? But just as I glance at my watch, a flirting call builds the air. Ah, that's a Chuko. He was singing yesterday morning too. Impressive, you know that. Yeah, Chuko lays their eggs in a nest of other birds, like the streak or real wobble. Since this one's been around two, three days in a row, there's probably a nest around here. Okay, I carefully look over the area and the bird sounds coming from. The search proceeds like they're easier this time around. There is, look at that, 80 trees. Counting from the stalls on the left, it's out of the bunches. Can you see it? Don't get too close, I will fly out there, see, in the bunches of that tree on the left. Why can't you see it? The bird's huge. Closer to grey than black, I do say orange eye and feet though. Papa, so come on, I'm not 
私私にはなんか黒っぽいのがいるなーってぐらいしか見えないのよ。Well, I got very good long distance vision. Thanks to my job. All right, wait here. I'll bring you something nice. いいもの I'll be back soon. Don't run off. Don't run off. Scared to go off, all right? わかった。I jumped back to the doors and drank out the rust cat containing all my early possessions from the back of my closet. I know to the potential to admit this myself, but there's a hell of a lot of useless junk in this thing. So, can I find you a tip for the very bottom of the bag? Just like a tackle box and a glass. Instead of glass, it's back full of old tools I no longer actively use in the field. <laughs> and the solvents are ending wrenches in all senses, a short and a stubby, stubby driver. An old p o p i n seat with a monochrome spin, a GPS that grows u n s t a b l e in a crib. Shift it to the iPhone to spot a black small case. There it is. I retrieve the case, open the two sliding cards holding a close, and flip open the lace in the middle of the cushion bag made of foam. It's a long, thin place to a dark, non reflective bag. Specifically, it's a new Ford MK M3. A sign my master bought for me as a toy one Christmas. I will create it with nice and off this these days, so I ever use it as things in this, but I never got around to throw it out. I don't want the last cap and try peering inside the wire return because that's the thing I've been shown to off center. <coughs> Slide it back to the case, I take the whole package under my arms and head back to the courtyard where Makina is waiting. Sorry for the way, the Chuko stays in it? I'm still there, but... Papa, where did you go? Just went to get this from my room. What? What's that? Well, a little telescope, basically. I deflate sharp or snap open the keys, and the telescope removes the lens and places the long cube in Makina's hand. The thing's made of metal and glass, so it's pretty heavy. Don't drop it, alright? Oh, like this, I've seen it on the TV. It's a person who's holding it. Papa, why are you holding it like this? I'm an amateur bird watcher. Forget that. Just take a look already. Oh! This is quite the Makina presses the black tube to her right eye with both hands, but. Huh? You got your eyes too close to the lens. Let me see for a second. Oh. After retrieving the scope of Makina, I attach the double eye cup to the appropriate end of the tube. When I'm at it, I also twist the zoom ring, displacing the magnification somewhat. <coughs> How's this? <coughs> Try using your left eye to look at it for a general position while your right look through the scope. Try turning the dial on the back of the tube, you can change the magnification so it will look even better. Makina, why put you in your language? Date, Papa, Sungay, or Mosiro, Kakokotimita, Kotimina! The bus getting nervous because you make it so much noise. Kako, Nakana, I mean, Shizuka, you stay there, Banako? Well, as long as we stay this far, I think he will start again sooner or later. Oh, 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 しばし静かに格好観察とされ込みますか。Yeah, you do that. Observing things you don't normally get the chance to see is definitely enjoyable. I always like watching birds as well. When I was living alone with my master in the mountains, we see turtles, doves, and bullbulls every day. And even after I started my college job, I do usually get the chance to watch birds during long standby periods in the field. Then again, there was that one time I had to spend two weeks on standby on an uninhabited southern island. It was a small, widespread piece of stone, barren of trees and devoid of birds. After finishing all the books I brought with me, I didn't have a thing to do other than sitting on the rocks by the shore and watch the tropical fish below. At first, I thought a completely solitary job would suit an introvert like me just fine, but I still remember the painful step of depression I felt after realizing I had spoken a single word of it over a week. Solitude and boredom are pretty difficult things for human beings to endure. 
I guess, especially in combination. Ne, Papa. What? Kako wa warui tori na no kana. What makes you ask? Datte, takuran te motomoto sono su ni atta tamago otoshi chan da yo. Sonde, jibun no honto no ko janai no ni. <laughs> well, probably because they don't realize it's not their child. Or even if they are vaguely aware, when the things open his mouth, it goes cheap, cheap, they just can't help feeling it. <laughs> Unfair might be one way to put it, yeah, but that's just made their strategy as a species. If the Chukos play fair, they wouldn't be here today. Tricky questions. Yes, they gain as a species by causing other strong harms, but that's not exactly rare in nature. And there are cases where the others first notice the switch and reject the new hatchet chuko. It's not like they can be sure everything will go smoothly. The Chuko strategy is his own race. So when the chick managed to find itself some good foster parents, it should accept it's good and fortunate and happy. Rest assured, if you find a wobble and you're a Chuko, I will take good care of you until the day you can leave the nest with confidence. Don't be Dobby, the Chuko may be parasites, but our relationship is symb symbiotic. The Chuko may be parasite, but our relationship is symbiotic. Your brother doesn't cause me any harm. Hell, something is beneficial. Again with the tricky questions, there are a number of advantages of having your arm, but I doubt you really understand if I try to explain. If I had to try to wrap it up in one phrase, I find you cute, I suppose. Oh, a lolly roof. Please don't tell me you've been mangling the Japanese language all this time out of some misguided attempt to be cutesy. You are barely overrating your talent as an actress. Saying that and nothing more, Makina silently continued peering through the school. It pretty clear that this girl started comparing the Chuko evolutionary strategy of to her own way of life. And concluding that asking me to become her father might be unfair on her part. But in the first place, Makina entrusted me with a full 70 million yen in compensation for this dog. That's exactly qualified as a parasitic relationship. That's I completely understand the anxiety in Makina's feelings right now. I myself went through something very similar after my master adopted me. I asked her many times why she bothered taking a workless incompetent brat like me. And every time I was to give me the same answer. You need to get over this idea that you can't do anything, kid. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. The way you look at things make a hell of a lot of more differences than you realize. Listen up. From now on, tell yourself this instead. I can't do everything well, but there's nothing I can't do at all. Got that? And in the end, it didn't prove that difficult to find something I wasn't so useful. Useless that something that gave me a kind of worth. If I hadn't made my answer, I probably would gone my whole head without discovering that. I still. それでも。それでもやっぱし私あの鳥嫌い。パパ知ってる？格好ってね、よその巣に卵を産んだ後、また他の格好が来て同じ巣にもう一個卵を産んじゃうこともあるんだって。そうするとね、一つの巣に二つの格好の雛が帰るでしょ。一つの巣に格好の雛は二匹いらないから、格好の雛同士ですからの落とし合いが始まるんだって。なんかもうとことん生臭い鳥なのよさ。Well, naturally, it's fundamentally cruel. Aren't you waiting for it to say? Uh, you can make almost any meat reasonably edi edible with enough curry to flavor it, but can't I ever experience with two coals? I'm not much of a carnivore in the first place, you know. The bird does some sort of resemble a pigeon. Good sort of pictures someone in French or China stuffing chai cheese into his stomach and then cooking it in an oven, but while I will admit that I'm not exactly knowledgeable in culinary affair, 
I haven't heard of any Chuko eating customs in this country. Trying to forgive me, why don't you? Chuko has their reasons. Just because he's a parasite doesn't mean he's a jerk. Yeah, yeah, I'm an AI here for you, right? Don't get so fired up. I drive an auto in her head and give it a few thumbs. The girl's respond with a grumpy half ground to appear small, defy for the moment. An idiotic electronic squad cuts into a conversation, wiping out any remains right by attention. Makina quickly retreats her egg shaped digital pad from his usual place around her waist. Are you supposed to be a Tokyo kid now? It currently is 7.30 by my watch. I'm pretty sure Makina was scheduled for her first shift at the bakery starting at 8 this morning. Very well, obey your orders faithfully and uphold the honor of your shop. Give out your taste to the pursuit of baking excellence. Ah, hold on you, get off that bike. I don't remember giving you out your MOS yet. Yeah. Don't give me that, it's too early for you to be riding on the street alone. For today, head to your destination on foot while imagining yourself following the same road on bicycle. Stay there and practice. Practice maintaining situational awareness. Understood. What kind of an attitude is that? Approach your drills as if they were real combat. Also, don't casually wander off with my scope in your hand. Is this how it went with Amane's boots too? You are hopeless. I don't mind letting you have the thing if you like. But you're not going to need it at the bakery. Leave it behind. Indeed, do us proud. Yeah. After trusting me with a mini velo and her new scoop, Makina dashes off towards the front gate, imitating the ting ting of a bicycle belt in with her mouth. Looks like she managed to get herself into the scenario. And so I sent Makina off in what I felt was a subtly vigorous and encouraging manner. However, this opinion was not universally shared. <laughs> I should probably go without saying at this point. The objector was so Amane. I failed to see the problem here. When the designated tide arrives, you head into the field. That's what the job is. Watch as I dig my breakfast of cold pasta with tomato and plastic sauce. Amane contorts her face with an exaggerated display of sadness. <sighs> Well, we stopped by a convenience store on the road this morning and she got her down a burger and an egg sandwich with a bottle of milk. I know she's starving. I mean, the girl said she was so hungry she couldn't move. So you say, Amane, but it's not like you want to see her growing with hunger yourself. Yeah, yeah, my bad. That's why I heroically ate her share of the breakfast we made, see? Not that you mention it. Mental of fact, eating outside of the mix me realize just how good the Amane the star Amani mix really is. The pasta I work on right now is pretty simple stuff, but I have to admit it's delicious. You really can make anything taste good, Amani. So, so no good to eat that they damas are not in this yoda. It might not be worth much coming from a man with not notoriously dull taste, but but I was being completely sincere. Wakata yo, no wakata kara. Like I said, an egg sandwich, a baguette, and a bottle of milk. Bagel, huh? Hamu to cheese, no yatsu? Good guess. Makina, hamu mo cheese, mo daiski dashi. Kamigotai no aru pan mo daiski dashi ne. Tamago sandu, huh? Futsu no sankaku no yatsu? That's right. Give me a word, sir. Try to meet a milliliter bottle. Don't remember the brand, but there was something about bag full of calcium on the label. Seven, chose a gunu, ne? 
、えー、と 200ml で約 120kcal ロロとしてベーグルが 200kcal ロロ卵サンドが 300kcal ロロと考えるとうわ 620kg か卵サンドがでかいなうーんまあねそれに朝はいくら食べても平気なのよね割とでもその分夜食べる量を少し減らさなきゃ具体的には 200kcal ロロほど自分の食事のカロリー計算のついでだから別に面倒じゃないしそれにこれ以上太って可愛い服着れなくなったらかわいそうじゃんちなみにあんたに出してる食事は1日だいたい 2200kcal ロロ以内にまとめてるよ What? You're out my diet as well? だってあんたの普段の食事見てたらなんか1 5 0 0カロリーぐらいしかとってないんだものそれじゃ痩せちゃうよ Wait, is that why you are constant, constantly feeding me pumpkin? かぼちゃをなめるなよかぼちゃは栄養の塊まさに無敵の健康食品かぼちゃがあれば10年は戦えるあれはいいものですちなみに私のこの体型はかぼちゃダイエットのおかげで維持できてるんだよビタミンたっぷりでお肌もツヤツヤ活性酸素も除去してくれるし体温が上がって基礎代謝が高まるから痩せるし何より食物繊維が豊富でいいことづくし。でしょうそこで今日のお昼はかぼちゃの冷たいスープをスオさんちょっといいかしらん何頼まれていたものいくつか調べておいたけど結局どうするのネットで買うの値段はどうだったそうね店頭価格と比べるとおおむね2000円から2500円の値引きね送料を考えるとトントンか。500円から800円のお得ってところかしらうーん微妙だなあああなんかねマキナの話を聞いてたら私もパンが焼いてみたくなってパン焼き器を買おうかと思って榊さんにネット通販の値段を調べてもらってたのボーナス前で新型が発表になる時期だから。一つ前のモデルがぐっと寝落ちしてるわ買うなら今がチャンスだと思うけど古いのと新しいので値段と性能の差はどれぐらいそうね値段の差は8000円から1万6000円性能についてはほとんど変わらないよねデザインがちょっと良くなったぐらいうーんじゃあ古いモデルでもいいかなスオさんの欲しがっていたバゲットが焼けるタイプのものを同時に焼ける数に差がある程度で性能はあまり変わらないものが8000円ほど安い値段で売っているわネットのストアオークションで見ると同じものが1万6000円安い値段でスタートしてるでもそれって結局値段は上がっちゃうんでしょ希望即決価格に設定されている値段を見るとよそより1円安く出品されているからよそで買うより高くなるということはないわただ注意しないと送料が別途かかるケースがあるけど今回見ているストアは送料が無料のようね私としては。経済に精通していると受け取ってもらいたいところなのだけれど<笑>なんだか微妙な言い方ね別に構わないけれどうーんそれにしても8000円の差額かどうしよう頑張ればねぎれない数字じゃないのよね素直にネットで買うかそれとも店頭で形地放り出すか悩むわ Don't do that. 普通にネットで買ったらどうクレジットカードは持っているのでしょうんまあそれでもいいんだけど
やっぱり商店街の電気屋さんで買おうかと思って確かに現物を手にして買う方が安心感はあると思うけど今時はネット通販もほとんどノートラブルが普通よそういうことじゃなくてお店で買えば機械が調子悪かったりうっかり壊しちゃった時でもすぐに対応してくれるでしょ多少高くてもお店で買うメリットってそういう部分だと思うしそういうサービスを買うことだと思うのねそれに前にスチームオーブンを買った時に。次何か買う時もここで買うからって言ってねぎっちゃった手前よそで買うのも気が引けるしね<笑>今回はお店で買うよせっかく調べてくれたのにごめんね榊さん私は別にあなたがどこで買おうと構わないし大した手間ではないから気にしないで今は何でもネットの時代よ確かに便利にはなったけれど通信には障害がつきものだしあまり高級的な手段とも思えないから依存しすぎるとしっぺ返しが大きいのもネットなのよ。Agreed. They say that inconvenience is the mother of ingenuity, but I guess there's no reason to avoid the convenient option when it's already there. By the way, can you get anything you want off this online shopping site? 何でもというと語弊があるけれど。合法なものも大抵手に入るし非合法すれすれなものも条件次第ではかなりの確率で買うことができるわね何よユージあんたなんか変なもの買おうとしてんじゃないでしょうね no, I was thinking I do by making a little toy but it's not exactly urge I was just a little curious おもちゃならあの子もういっぱい持ってるわよあんまり気軽に変なもの買い与えないでよねこれ以上私の部屋にガラクタを持ち込まれたら寝る場所がなくなっちゃう、うん、それにしてもマキナちゃんとアルバイトやってるのかなパン屋のご主人には何かあったらすぐに連絡してくれるように伝えてはあるのでしょ連絡がないということは何も問題はないということよそ,それはそうなんだけど。What is it going to teach anything at this point? What will be, will be? どうしてそんなに落ち着いていられるのよ心配じゃないの Not in the least, actually. Why? だってあの子、知らない人とは喋れないんだよ Yeah, I mentioned that as well, but Makina says she's going to try her best to get over it. 頑張ってもダメな時だってあるでしょうに We can't cross the bridge when we come to it. Don't worry, I'll be Makina going to handle this just fine. うーんやっぱ私は待ってるだけなんて無理あとでこっそり様子見に行ってこようかなやめておきなさい保護も過ぎれば信用されていないとイリスさんのプライドを傷つける結果になるわよ I agree with you, Miko ちゃんそりゃ分かってるけど心配なんだものもしバイト中に倒れて寝ちゃってたらどうすんのよ I told the other to knock her away if that happens, so it shouldn't be a problem. More importantly, how about you show a little trust in the deep girl? Ano ko no doko o dou shin yo shiro to yu no ka hana hada gimon dewa aru kere do. Ma, oumune ni oite, Kazami kun no yu koto ni dou yu ashite o kou ka shiro. Yappa, watashi te pa hogo na no ka na? Where I see it, slightly overprotected. It's just about right for a mother. The ones got two pa many parents who can't or won't look out for their kids. Can't hurt to overcompensate a little in the opposite opposite direction. Banking working as passively and fearfulness towards others has been largely in the product of her own negative self image and an incompetent idiot. Over the last few days, I've brought a girl quite a few things and I tried to point her towards where she can develop her potential as a human being. I tend to continue doing it from. So from now on, and although I don't think my ashes are the sole cause, this is my class start to show proactive interest in many different things. She seems almost eager to get her hands dirty. Experimented, experimentations begins with a willingness to touch, to explore something new with your own hands. Sometimes you might not like the way it feels in your palm, sometimes you will jump your hand back in pain. 
Give us all that space and new discovery in its own right, unless you can't really understand that true experience. They say it first put everything and anything in their mouths to learn the taste of poison, but Martin has been raising in the equal manner of a still like clear room. Clean room. Now she's finally beginning to explore the taste of the world through her own free will. I would deny that my declaration of complete confidence was a largely a bluff, but I don't think that I am raising a kid who can't figure out the difference between a bitter green pepper and a bottle of arsenic. And with that, courtyard time. Oh, it's already 6 p.m. Soon enough, evening came. Although her first year of, although her first year at her new job ends some time ago, Makina has returned. Aure, who suffered through the day in the state of constant distress, the worry finally broke down and called the bakery. As it turned out, the girl had left right on time some 30 minutes ago. This from I managed to shout Shua and attempt a dramatic leap to her feet with the cell phone still pressed to her ears. But unfortunately, the woman has been sitting on the couch with her long hair tucked under her sizable buttocks. As her head snapped back with a painful yank, I only let out a long grow of uncertainty something along with the light of Ua that turned an important anger on the target closest at end. Hey Yuji, where did you beat Makina? Get going! What? It's not like I sent a girl off on her first day at kindergarten. Makina's not a child, right? She can't wander back on her own eventually. Such were my honest feeling thoughts on the matter, but face with the sheer irritated Mofari in Amani's light tears as she rubbed her skull, I couldn't find the courage to voice them. Suddenly it was I pushed myself off my seat. I'm thinking she saw some dog, huge dog, a great princess or samurai, and something like that. Then latched on to the things and buried herself in the spot, completely lost it, losing track of time. That's the narrative, the owner where I was continually walking their dog at some point, Mini Makia should come back on her own eventually. But depending on how things play out, she might tag along on the rest of the walk, following her all the way home. Eventually, ended up in the strangest living room, snacking on the sweet case and teeth, a disturbing plausible scenario. Of course, fairly with big poofy dogs like that tend to be fairly well off, so I doubt she'd be in much danger of a financially motivated crime. But on the other hand, there's no guarantee she won't have a right into the class clutches or some separate things. Multi-millionaire with a twisted interest in childish young bodies. My conclusion, it would be best to swiftly track the girl down, have her thank them for the case, then probably withdraw. Huh, I drew my private cell phone from my jacket pocket. Of course, we tried to call Makina before any time, either, but her cell phone went straight to voice me every time. I mean, I had been uncertain upon our next moment when a savior known as Sakaki Yubiko descended from the silly on the golden chariot. As the savior goes, she might be a bit on the cranky side, but today she brought us tidings of comfort and joy. Apparently, Makina Sansa was equipped with a remote tracking function in case of loss of tap. He immediately set out the traffic to follow through his GPS. As it turned out, she was keeping perfectly still in what looked like a corner of the shopping district near the station. After consulting, we confirmed the girl was in the industry and ended up just sitting by the chair of a public room. Apparently, my god down the cake in the rich house. Her hypothesis was off the mark. End the episode here, my friend. Thank you for watching my video. My video See is just fine. Don't take hard brothers and sisters. Okay? Magic word. Magic word time. Adios e famosa. Seat of the world 3-5.